right, Dr. Whitfield, we know that you are the breast implant illness expert. And when you do your testing, you you find sometimes that you need to take the implants out. So that would be known as an explant surgery, essentially. Can you please ex explain to us your testing protocols and what surgery day would be like for these women? Sure. Once we've determined that we feel the breast implants are potentially the cause for your breast implant illness, um, we've looked at the blood work and, and know that uh, we're comfortable with taking you to the operating room. We explained in detail what we're going to do. Um, I'm very obviously concerned about everybody's aesthetic appearance. So if we need to provide a lift or some kind of transfer of uh, tissue to augment the breast, we'll discuss that as well. And then the day of the operation, you'll come in. Uh, I'll see you beforehand, get you marked. We'll perform the explant. We always uh, do an in-block capsulectomy when we do the explant, and then with or without a lift or with or without a fat transfer to get the best aesthetic outcomes. And then each time I personally take samples of the capsule around the implant and send those off for DNA testing to determine, is there any bacterial or fungal uh, biofilm present that could be contributing to this? Um, we also send the capsule off for permanent evaluation to look for any breast cancer or lymphoma. Um, we never want to miss anything like that. We always want to make an early diagnosis if, if in fact that's there. And I've had a couple people have cancer. And then afterwards I, I get everybody uh, wrapped up and then I call them next day to check on them. And we see them at a week at three month intervals after that for the first year. Thank you for that. So it, it sounds like it's a lot of care and compassion that goes into uh, this type of surgery. Uh, I We really, really are encouraging those that are suffering from breast implant illness to set up a consultation with Dr. Whitfield, who can see you virtually or in his state-of-the-art practice in Austin, Texas. We appreciate your time today, Dr. Whitfield. Thank you.